Hello, my name is Leslie Reinrach. I'm a part-time librarian here at IMU, and today I'm going to be reviewing a book with you that is available in our library portal online. Before we get to that, I will show you step by step how to actually log in to the portal and find the book you want, or specifically the book I'm reviewing today. So first, as you can see, you will just insert what I, I did in the search bar, idlib.imu.edu.my, then you will pop up to this page. Then from here, you go to the bottom and you press login via IMU email. And if your laptop has already saved the passwords and credentials to your account, you will automatically log in, as I have. And then let me just bring you to the home page so I can show you everything you need. So you'll actually see this page first. Then I'm I'm doing an ebook today, so I'll press ebook that you. And the one I'm delivering is on clinical key. So number eight here is clinical key. I'll press that. And then I'll use the option Fibole. Okay, after pressing clinical key, you'll end up here. And the book I'm actually reviewing today is called Reels Anatomy for Students, the fourth edition. So I'll search for the book. Okay, this is the book that I'll review. As you can see, clinical key makes the whole format really simple. As you can see, there are nine chapters from the body to neuroanatomy. And as a chiropractic student myself, so forgot to mention, I was a semester six. I am a semester six chiropractic student. And this book is quite beneficial for my degree as it covers anatomy very in depth. So I'll go to one of the chapters. An example for you. So as you can see, the main heading is the body and it covers it very thoroughly and include diagrams for viewers to understand better. And on the left, it has brings you to specific parts that you may need and may have trouble finding. Yes. Besides me, I think this particular book is really good for chiropractors. Uh, medical students and anyone that needs to learn anatomy as it's very in-depth and I'm sure maybe even dentistry students share similar chapters with medical students so they might also find this very beneficial and yeah that's about it for this book if you have any inquiries, you can contact the library for further questions and we will help you however we can. Thank you.